Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and on Facebook Marketplace. And my YouTube channel here is just all about reselling. So if that is content you enjoy, make sure you subscribe down below. So for today's video, I have a quick shoe haul to share with you guys. These are all shoes I picked up at one of my local thrift stores recently, but I am going to share a major bolo shoe brand that I know I haven't talked about very much on this channel. I've only ever found this shoe brand once before and I'm pretty sure I never shared it in a video. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to share that major bolo at the end of the video. I actually kind of have two bolos in this um, shoe haul that you're about to see. Also, just a little FYI, if you don't know what bolo means when I say that, um, that's just a term that resellers use to describe a brand that you should be on the lookout for. So that's what bolo stands for, be on the lookout. Um, these are just brands that either have a high resell value or they just have a great, um, a fast sell through rate, just meaning that they sell very quickly and usually for a decent profit. Okay, a couple things before we get started. First off, I chopped all my hair off again. Um, I love it. I seriously love having short hair. It's so much easier to deal with than when my hair starts getting long. I start getting like irritated with it and I just always want to throw it up in like a bun or something just to get it out of my way. But yeah, so got a new haircut if you noticed. And second of all, I also got a new phone. So I'm filming on a new phone with a new camera. So if anything looks different or looks off to you, that is why I'm not really sure how this camera works. Um, right now I'm using like the cinematic, um, setting. So it's supposed to like blur out the background a little bit. So we might have to play with the settings a little bit. So definitely let me know down below if anything's weird, um, on the screen or blurry or just, you know, just let me know down below if you're having issues with anything in my videos and I will try to fix that. Okay guys, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to share just some of the good like bread and butter brands and just, shoes that I pick up on a regular basis at the thrift store. And then don't forget to stick around to the end so you guys can see that Bolo brand. So first off, we just have this pair of black Nike free running shoes. I always love the Nike free running shoes. They sell really great for me. With running shoes, you always wanna make sure you check out the tread on the bottom of the shoes to make sure they look good. These ones are in amazing condition. You can tell by the insoles. And these are a women's size eight and a half. Okay guys, I wanted to give a quick update on these Nike shoes. They sold very quickly on Poshmark for $30. Okay, next up, I have a pair of Vans here. I love this style by Vans. I will always grab these when I find them. Also, I just realized I forgot to repaint my nails before this video. I just took my nail polish off and I was gonna repaint them and I totally forgot. Since we've already started, I'm just gonna keep going. But I've sold this style of Vans in the past a uh, couple of times and they always sell super quick for me. So these are the Vans Surf. Hopefully that is focusing on the screen. There we go. Okay, so I just have to get used to this camera, you guys, so bear with me. They're the Vans Surf Collection. They kind of look like a boat shoe. The last pair of, simil of a similar style that I sold of these sold on eBay, and I think they sold around $45. I will put that up on the screen, uh, but very similar to this pair. These are a men's seven and a half, or they would be a women's size nine. Okay, next up, I have a great bread and butter brand for me. I will always grab Crocs if I can find them in good condition. Um, they basically have to be in, there we go. They basically have to be in almost like new condition for me to grab them. And they also have to be priced relatively low, but Crocs have a great sell through rate. They always sell quickly. Um, usually I can get around 25, maybe $30 depending on the style, um, which is why I always grab them because they're usually a quick flip. Uh, these ones are a women's size eight. Okay, next up I have this pair of men's like leather boots. Let's see. I don't know why I can't get it to focus. There we go. 
They are like a gray distressed leather, pretty good condition. And these ones are by the brand Cole Haan. This is another brand that I do love selling, um, men's and women's shoes. There's a little logo on the bottom. Hopefully it'll focus. But yeah, these are a great pickup and these are a men's size nine and a half. Um, I'm guessing these should sell in the 35 to $45 price range. Another brand that I definitely would consider a bolo, but I have talked about this brand a lot on my channel. I found two pairs by this brand. Love, love, love this brand. Every time I find it, I will grab it if it's in good condition. And this is the brand Olukai. So the logo for this brand is this little like fish hook thing. So definitely keep a look, an eye out for that. So two pairs here. This first one, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is all scratchy. Um, this first one, see if I can get it to focus. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with um, the camera a little bit to figure out how it works. But this first one is like a slip on kind of mesh sneaker shoe. They do have this back here where you can wear the shoe as a mule so you can slip it on there like that. Or if you wanted to flip it up, you can wear it as like a regular tennis shoe. Um, this one is a size Uh, ten and a half men's, and then the other pair is just a slip-on like canvas version. Same thing; it has the little heel part that flips up, or you can put it down. And these ones are also a ten and a half, so probably donated by the same person. All right, guys. Next up is another brand I talk about a lot on this channel, and that is Vans. I love selling Vans. Uh, sneakers. This first pair here is just a pair of ultra range sneakers. Come on. Maybe if I move, there we go. I think I have to like move my face out of focus, um, but these ones have the ultra cush insoles, which is always a great keyword. They're just the triple black ultra range. And these are a women's size six. Those should sell probably around $30, $35. And then I have this pair here, which is just a green uh, canvas. I think these are called the Authentic is the style with the gum sole. Pretty good condition, insoles look good. And these ones are a men's size 11 and a half, so they're also a great size. Okay, we have another great uh, bread and butter brand. I love selling this brand as well, if I can get them at the right price. All of these I paid under $10 for um, at the thrift store by averaging out my buy cost. So some of them might have been priced over $10. Some of them were priced a lot less than $10. Um, but what I do is I always average out my buy cost. I take the total amount I spent divided by the total amount of items I picked up and uh, that gives me just an average cost per item. That's just how I like to record it in my bookkeeping. And I think this day my buy cost was around $9.89 if I remember correctly, something like that. But it's usually just right under the $10 mark. Um, but this is a pair of Converse gray, like wool. I think these are like a felt or a wool high tops. And they do have a fleece lining on the inside. These ones are, these ones are a women's size nine and Converse usually sell anywhere in the 25 to $35 price range. Actually, I would say up to the $45 price range depending on style. Um, certain prints or styles can do a little better than others. That pair I'm probably expecting more around 30, $35. Okay, next up, we have a great find here. This is a pair of Timberland. These are the Timberland Pro um, Anti-Fatigue Technology like work sneaker boot. And they have like a hard toe, like the steel toe, except for these ones are not very heavy. They're super lightweight. Um, and the toe is made out of something 
that is not metal. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's made out of, but it does have like the hard toe, um, but it is some type of like plastic or some type of material in there. Um, but these are brand new. You can tell they've never been worn. The insoles are in perfect condition. These are also a great size. So they're a men's size 10 and a half, but they're also a wide width, which is great. I always love when I find shoes that are wide width. Um, definitely want to include that in your title because there are a lot of people who are searching for shoes that are wide width. Okay, next up, another brand I love finding and selling, and this is Dansko. There we go. These are just a patent leather, like Mary Jane clog. They do have a little bit of scuffing on like the toes and stuff. Nothing major. Um, I just mentioned that in my listing. I still think they'll do well. The tread on the bottom looks great. And these ones are a Euro size 37. So probably like a women's size seven. Next shoe was a super exciting find. You guys know I love selling Nike, but these are a great style by Nike to find. Um, these are Nike Air Max. I think they're the Air Max 90s, I believe. I'll put it up on the screen if that's incorrect, but I think that's what these are. There we go. Really cool, like green color combo. And again, these are just in amazing condition. Sorry guys, bear with me while I work with this camera a little bit, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, these are almost in like new condition, maybe worn once or twice. They're also a great men's size. They're men's size 11 and a half and these should do well. I'm guessing these will sell around the 75, maybe $85 price range. Okay, so real quickly before I show you the Bolo brand of the video, um, I wanted to quickly show you some kid shoes I picked up. Do not skip the kid shoe section. Uh, kid shoes can actually sell for decent money and a lot of times they're priced lower at the thrift stores. Um, so I usually look for any brands that I pick up normally like my regular bread and butter brands in adult shoes. I look for those same brands in the kids version. So this first pair is a pair of Converse. Come on, there we go. I just have to cover my face, I think. Um, but these are little kids Converse high top sneakers. They have little llamas all over them, super cute. And these ones are a youth size 12. Next up, we have this adorable pair of Pumas. They're like a purple glitter with this little bow top, bow at the top here really cute. These are a youth size 9C or toddler, I guess, size 9C. And then last, we have this really cute pair of youth Nikes. I just sold a pair of youth Nikes on Poshmark recently. I'll put it up on the screen. I think around like $35 or something like that. It was a really good sale and they were pre-owned, thrifted. So don't skip the toddler shoes. These ones are also in pretty good condition and they're a youth size 8C. All right guys, so this next brand is not the Bolo brand I was actually talking about in this video, but this can definitely be considered a Bolo shoe brand. Um, I have never found this brand in shoe, the shoes from this brand before. I have found one piece of clothing, but this is definitely a brand that you should know um, just in case you ever do come across it in a thrift store. This brand um, in the clothing and shoes uh, has great resale value. So this is the brand opening ceremony. And these are very flashy glitter sneakers. They're in pretty good condition. You can see it says opening on the bottom of this one. I think the other one says ceremony. These are a Euro size 40. So they're a great size, which would be equivalent to like a women's nine to 10. And yeah, this is a great brand to be on the lookout for if you ever come across it. A lot of celebrities actually wear this brand. I did find a photo. I'll pop it up on the screen um, if I can find it again. I think I took screenshots of it, but I found a photo of Jessica Alba wearing these exact shoes. So yeah, definitely super excited to find these. They have like this little ring on the back that also says opening ceremony. There you go. 
So really cool find, super excited to find those. Okay, and now on to the Bolo brand, the brand I wanted to share with you guys in this video, and that is the brand Noble. So um, I think it's called Noble Project, but these are cross training or CrossFit uh, workout shoes. A lot of people wear these um, to the gym. And here is the brand, there we go. So it says it on both, but this is a definite major be on the lookout for brand in sneakers. If you ever come across it, these always have a high resale value, even in slightly beat up condition, these can still do pretty good. Um, this gray pair here is in amazing condition. These look like they've only been worn maybe a couple times. They're a women's size seven and a half. So definitely super excited to find these. And then this one, these have been worn um, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure, they're still in really good condition. You can just see there's a little bit of um, like discoloration on the insole and right on the sole here. But other than that, the tread still looks great. I mean, overall they're in great, I would say very good pre-owned condition. And these ones are an amazing size. They're a men's size 13. Um, both of these I think will do really well. I'll put some comps up on the screen of this gray pair or kind of roughly what I'm expecting to get for this pair. Um, I do think I can get a little bit of a higher amount for the gray pair just because they're in such good condition. When I was looking at comps, I saw some that were in worse condition than this pair that still sold for a good price. And then this pair, I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up uh, this colorway, these are called the Rubber Ducky colorway just because they have the gum soles and then of course they're like a bright yellow. And this style or this colorway it looks like it is kind of a highly sought after color combination. Um, there was only, I think, maybe one listed but not in a men's size 13 on Poshmark active listing that hasn't sold and then there was multiple in search of listings so people that post a listing um, not because they have the shoe because but because they're looking for the shoe so that just shows me that it is a highly sought after colorway there also wasn't any active listings on ebay that i could find in this colorway and the last pair of these shoes, and I'll put it up on the screen, that sold on Poshmark actually sold for $200. And they were in much worse shape. Well, not much worse, but they were definitely in worse shape than the ones I have. So that was really exciting. Because there are no active listings in a men's size 13 that I could find on Poshmark or eBay, and I did see a recent sold for these at $200. I think that's where I'm going to start my pricing for this pair. I don't know if I'll get that much. Obviously I'm open to offers, but um, I am going to try to get the, you know, the most I can out of them. Um, so I am gonna price them at $200 and just see how they do. All right guys, so that is it for this quick haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you have a great holiday and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.